Hey guys, welcome back. It has been a very long time, I feel like, since I um, filmed or posted anything, but I am here with a Project Pan update. And don't know that I need to go over every single product. If there's no like significant change or anything, then I will just kind of leave it, or maybe I'll just mention it quick. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna grab stuff and we're gonna get into it. Um. Okay, so these nail decals, I still haven't used these yet. I really should. I just did my nails recently, um, but I really wanted to try this nail polish out, and I didn't think that these little aliens would look that great with the color. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just didn't, I didn't want to do that. Um, but next time I do my nails, I'm going to try to remember to use these. Um, so sadly, those have no progress. Um, so this is the... Um, setting spray that I've been using. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Glow uh, setting spray and I decanted this into an old Wet n Wild uh, bottle because the sprayer on this is garbage. Um, so this is currently empty but the spray is in there. Um, I really don't think there's much left in here. Maybe like two or three uses, maybe. It's like... It's like very... Like, I have to shake it pretty hard to hear anything. So I'm guessing, like, max three uses. So that should be gone soon. I probably should have... Actually, mm, Yeah, I probably should have rolled in a setting spray. I didn't realize how low it was today. Um, because I didn't use it today. Because I forgot to. <laughs> so I probably should have rolled in another one. But it's fine. Uh, I'll just do the next time. So there's the setting spray. Um... My chapstick is still going. I don't remember where it was when I rolled it in, but I just use it every time I do my makeup. So, I mean, eventually it'll be gone. No idea when that'll be. But this is just, it's just, we're just rolling with that. Did I roll this into my project last time? It was in my bag with all my project stuff, but I don't remember rolling it in, but I could have because it's been a while. Um, this is the Hard Candy Perfecting Primer, the Sheer Envy Perfect, Sheer Envy Perfecting Primer, 12-hour lime reducer. It's a pore minimizing primer. Um, I'm gonna keep it in here. I probably rolled it in, and I just don't remember. But if I didn't, it's in here now. So there's that. Um. Okay. The Crayola mini nail polishes that I had in here. Hopefully you can see them. I have five in here, three mattes, two glitters. Um, the matte ones are still going. Those are still in here. Um, but I'm rolling the glitters out and throwing them away. I tried to put nail polish thinner in there, but there's, there's no space to put a ball in here. So putting the nail polish thinner in didn't really do anything because I would have to shake it and I tried and just... It, it's done. They're dead. It, it's just there's no way. And I think most of the product is just like gunked up on the edges on the bottom anyway. So these two, I'm calling it quits. Those are empties. And I will go over everything I'm rolling in after I share what's already in the project. Um, the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls, uh, what is this? Color stick, shadow stick, I don't know. This thing in this green color. Um, I must have accidentally smushed it on the cap because it is smushified. Um, and I've only used it once, which was today. So no progress on that. <laughs> um, my eyeshadow primer, I mean, I feel like this is never ending. I, I use so little of it at a time. I feel like I'm gonna have to get to a point where I just decide enough is enough and not use broken packaging anymore, but I'm not at that point yet. <laughs> I'm not sick of it. It doesn't make me mad when I use it, so I might as well just keep going because there's still product in it and it still works just fine, so might as well. Um, the Britney Spears Fantasy Perfume, this little guy. Um, 
Uh, I feel like I made some progress, but I really don't remember where it was at before. It's almost down to this center line of gems now, and I feel like it was closer to up here before, but um, I don't know. Actually, let me put some on right now because why not? Um, and I try... I hate these little dauber ones. I feel like they're so difficult. Um... But like, I'll put some on like the collar of my clothing too. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. But yeah, that's that. Still, still going strong. I really need to remember to use that more. I forget so much. Um, mascara. This was in here as a product, right? I didn't just throw it in here. I might have just thrown it in here. You know what? We're going to put it in here as a product. I think I put it in my bag when I went to New Orleans, and that's why it was in here. It might have been a product in this project. I need to do better about keeping track of what's actually in this project, because clearly just keeping it in a bag is not helping, because I may or may not be just throwing random things in there. Uh, but either way, it's in here. This is what I used today. So there's that. Uh, this is, did I tell you what this is? This is a Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just meh. It's all right. Um, I have drugstore mascaras that I like better, but I'm using that, so it's fine. This is the Ulta Beauty uh, Brow Gel in Clear. Uh, I think I'm getting to the end of this because I'm having to like really dig in there and like swirl the wand around to like get enough product to do my eyebrows and I can feel that it's not like holding it as well as it used to so I might have to call this quits pretty soon. Um, it's really getting down to the nitty gritty in there. It's almost done. The lip gloss is, uh, I've probably used this once or twice since, um, the last update so there's no progress this is the Maybelline uh, lifter gloss in pearl uh, there's there's no progress on this so sad the Maybelline fit me concealer in 10 light is finished it is complete I've gotten as much out of here as I can I even put like a little spatula thing in there scraped it anything that's left on the walls or anything I just cannot get off and I'm fine with that. Um, so this guy is done. Very exciting. Very exciting. This is the Hard Candy Hydrating Sheer Envy Primer Mist. This is my current primer. I've got... Mm, it's hard to tell. Actually, let me use my phone, my duder, to uh, kind of see... Can I tell where the liquid is? Can I? Oh yeah, okay. It's down at the bottom. It's like right here. So it shouldn't be too long before I finish this up. Um, maybe another handful of uses. So I actually did bring something to roll in for this because this is really not going to last much longer. Um, although Looking back, I probably should have done that with the setting spray instead, or also. My brain is just not connecting the dots right now, you know? Uh, I have another rollout. Super exciting. The bronzer that I've been using, the Wet n' Wild Color Icon Ticket to Brazil bronzer. I have pan, you guys. I have pan. And I'm so stinking excited because I have been working on this bronzer. This is the only bronzer I've used for over a year. Must be over a year. And I just hit pan. Just hit pan. Now, granted, I don't do my makeup as often as a lot of other people do. So maybe that's not saying much, but... I'm just, I'm happy to move on for now. And 
the Sassian Chic BB Beauty Benefit Cream light in the shade light one. So this is like the one that they sell at the Dollar Tree. Um, and in my opinion, it's like not bad. It's pretty good, I feel like, for a $1 BB cream. It's not incredible. It's not amazing. But for a dollar, it's not bad. Um, and it's almost gone. I'm having to like really, really squeeze it and like bend it um, when I squirt stuff out. So I'm thinking this is only going to last me another few uses. And then this will be gone, which is super exciting. Look, look at how squishy and squeezy and it's like... The product is literally all just in that tip right there. Like squeezing it like this, nothing comes out. I have to like squeeze it and then like bend the thing and like push on. It's almost done. It's almost done. And I'm very excited about that. So we've got four things rolling out. Two glitter polishes um, that are empties, empty concealer, and the bronzer I hit pan on. So for the things that I am rolling in. Uh, to replace the nail polishes, I am rolling in this... Um, Innisfree glitter nail polish. It's like gold and silver, like coppery and silver, uh, like chunky hex glitters. Um, I have no idea where you would get this. Uh, I got this in a swap, um, like a mail swap, years and years and years and years ago. Very, very long time ago. Um, but this is on my list of things that I want to finish up this year, so. I'm gonna put that in there. Um, to replace the concealer, I am rolling in the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Nil to Use Concealer. This is in the shade Ivory. Um, I don't know what happened. I feel like when I first started using this, I really liked it, but I don't like it anymore. It's not like I hate it. It's not, I can make it work. It's not like awful, but it's not like, a joy to use. I like I remember when I first used it I was like oh my god this is so great I love it so much. It feels so much drier now than it used to. I don't know why. I don't understand that. But um I'm rolling that in. That is uh, where I am. I do appreciate it's like a twisty down like an airless pump so um like, I don't have to scrape and dig, which is super appreciated. But that is rolling in. My goal with that is going to, my goal with both of those uh, is going to be to finish them. So, there's that. To replace the bronzer, because this is just what I plan on doing. I'm just going to keep going through my bronzers and hitting, I just want to hit pan on all my bronzers. So, that's what I'm going to do. This is the e.l.f. Contour uh, Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Duo in Fiji. And I want to hit pan on the bronzer. I don't really care what happens to the, to the blush. Um, I'm sure I'll make progress on that just naturally. Um, but the bronzer, definitely want to hit pan on. And then when that happens, I'll roll it out. Hopefully it doesn't take me another year to hit pan on this bronzer. Although, I swear, this, this wet and wild pan is like, obscenely if I don't know mm, I don't know I feel it feels like it was like obscenely deep but it doesn't I probably not why can I not word today it felt like it was obscenely deep but it probably was not that's what I was trying to say wow Oh wait, this is what I, okay. I did bring something in to replace the primer. Oh my gosh, I'm such a ditz. <laughs> okay, I had brought in the L'Oreal uh, Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I don't think they even make this anymore. This is very old, very old. Um, but it's still, it's still going strong. I'm pretty dang sure it's still going strong. I need to shake it up though. But it's like this, uh, like, Pearly, that was a lot of oil that came out, but it's like a pearly illuminating primer. Um, and I love this when I first started using it. Um, oh, it, needs to be, it really needs to be shaken up though. Um, 
like I'm gonna have to sit here for like a few minutes and shake it and I'm just not doing that right now uh but yeah that is what this is for I say I'm not doing that right now and then I just keep doing it but <laughs> um so this is gonna replace the primer spray if I can't get it to like reconstitute and like have the pigment mix back with the oil um then I'll just throw this away I'm pretty sure oh, what the heck someone just bit me Ow. this video is a disaster <laughs> um but yeah if I can't get it to like re mix then I'll just toss this and pick out a different one but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to like, make it work and then um this isn't really wait a second I'm not I'm a ditz for calling myself a ditz because that wasn't even what I was a ditz about oh my god you guys just look at the pretty makeup and ignore my words right now <laughs> I knew I took out a primer it was the setting spray I didn't think I took something out for and technically still this is not a setting spray so I don't know what I'm even talking about but to replace the position of the setting spray not to replace the use of the setting spray I brought out the Mario Badescu um, facial spray and I'll probably just use this um, I mean can I use this as like a refresher over makeup um no nah, probably not oh yeah post makeup application so maybe that's what I'll do I'm, I don't know I don't know what I'm doing apparently <sighs> my brain just needs to shut off for a little bit but that's how far I am it's still pretty full um and I guess I'll use this as a after makeup spritzer thing I don't really need my makeup to last like a long amounts of time so mostly what I end up using setting sprays for is to like meld everything together anyway which sounds like this is what it's gonna do if I use it over my makeup I've never used it over makeup before I don't think But yeah, so this is going to be replacing that. Wow. I feel like I have a lot of products in here. I feel like the amount of products I have just keeps growing. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. I'm so sorry that uh, my brain was just completely disjointed the whole time. Apologies. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed in some way, shape, or form. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye.